Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the last video of this series of question 7. Uh, today let's have a look at the November 2020 grade 12 maths paper 2. It was an analytical geometry question involving circles, uh, cosine rule area and uh, also a little bit of um, a formula with volumes and shapes as well. Alright, great stuff. So now let's have a look at read the question. It says here the landscape um, artist plans to plant flowers within a two a concentric uh, cycle around a vertical light pole pq okay vertical light pole pq r is a point on the inner circle and s is a point on the outer circle r is within the inner circle s is on the outer circle okay we see that r q and s lie in the uh, in the same horizontal plane rs is a pipe with rs rs is here is a pipe used to irrigate the system in the garden the radius of the inner circle is given by r okay there we see that small r there and then uh, the units are known and then the units radius of the outer circle is given by q S and then the angle of elevation from P to S is given by 30 degrees. There we go. We see that angle there. Right. And then it says here that uh, uh, RQS is equal to 2X and then PQ is equal to square root of 3R. All right. Okay. 7.1. 7.1 says that we need to show that uh, QS is 3R. Okay. Okay, let's come here 7.1. Let's have a look. Uh, let me just look at this quickly. Okay, great stuff. 7.1, 7.1. Okay, on 7.1, if you have a look at 7.1, you can say here in triangle, which triangle is this one? Is triangle PQS. Okay, let's take that PQS and simplify it and draw it here. We're just taking out out of that cluster diagram guys i always say make life easy for self self draw this separate from the whole diagram but make sure that you follow whatever it's there and you label everything correctly so that you don't make a mistake okay what we have here we have got p there we have got q here it is a right angle triangle therefore here we have got square root of 3 r and then we have got an angle there of 30 degrees and then we have got s there QS is unknown and then PS is also unknown, but they want us to find QS. So we are going to look for something that involves this QS here and the known side. Okay, so this is opposite and this is adjacent. We know from soccer tour, guys, I'm saying these things because we have done them over and over again. That's why we're here doing past papers. So we know that from soccer tour, turn. Uh, whatever angle is given it is equals to a uh, opposite over adjacent okay so in this case is going to be tan our angle is 30 is equals to what is opposite opposite is square root of 3 r okay let me write a little bit visible here guys i hope you guys can see all right so it's going to be 3 r okay all over uh, what is this this uh, adjacent is given by qs which is exactly what we are looking for therefore mathematically we'll do cross multiply here cross multiplication will leave us with qs is equals to square root of 3r all over tan 30. so we all know what is tan 30 tan 30 on our Cartesian it is a special angle is giving us 1 over root 3 therefore we need to turn this around and therefore once you flip it around it's going to be square root of 3 r multiplied by square root of 3 which therefore square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us 3 r therefore q s is 3 r so we have successfully shown that q s is 3 r as required by that question right there so now we they require us to come here and say we now need to 
let's see 7.2 7.2 says determine in terms of r the area of the flower garden all right great stuff so now the area of the flower garden what are they referring to they are referring to this area right here to the area of the flower garden so therefore what we can do we can say the area of a circle in general is given by area of a circle in general it is given by pi square root okay r squared okay it's given by pi r squared therefore what you want to do here you want to say uh, because now you need the area that is in between only the area of the garden you are going to say the area of the outer circle okay i'm just gonna write it here in words the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle here it is here inner circle okay should therefore give you the area of the whole garden all right so therefore what are you gonna have you're just gonna have pi r squared pi r squared so r the radius of the outer circle is qs which is what we just calculated now and we know the radius of the inner circle is just r okay so for the outer circle is going to be pi r is given by 3r it's gonna be squared minus pi r squared so therefore once we simplify this is going to be pi 9 r squared minus pi r squared so therefore once you have this you once you minus 9 you are going to be left with how many you are going to be left with 8 8 pi r squared so therefore now this gives us the area of the guard of the flower garden so therefore this is the area of the flower garden okay area of flower garden just to write it here for the examiner to be able to see i hope you guys understand this if you don't understand drop a comment on the comment section below we'll do to everything in our power to really assist you and make sure while you do that you subscribe and share this video with your friends your family members your cousins your brothers and your sisters all right let's move on to 7.3 7.3 is still on the same question 7.3 says show that rs is given by r in square root 10 minus 6 cos 2x okay so now um what you see here let's come here uh, 7.3 7.3 if you can see what what are we looking we're looking at this triangle here the triangle at the bottom okay because now they are looking for rs so rs is here so what our focus angle is this angle here is this triangle here that is at the bottom all right so what do we know okay i'm just gonna copy it here so that we take it away from the cluster diagram and we make life easy for ourselves so in triangle in triangle qrs Okay, so let's draw the triangle here, triangle QRS. So there you go, R, S, Q. So what is Q here? Q is 2X. We know what is QX. Then we also know what is QS. Did we calculate QS previously? Yes, we did. QS gave us 3R. And then what else do we know again? We know that this qr here okay give us qs rather this qr here is what it's r so now what do you have you have got two sides wow this is just pure pure grade 11 maths okay what do you have you've got two sides i'm just gonna write it here in ways guys you've got two sides and included angle if you go back in grade 11 you go and check out our videos in grade 11 when it comes to when do you use sine rule when do you use cosine rule and when do you use the area rule you would realize that here you can only use cosine rule because you have got two sides and an included angle if the angle was not included you're going to use the sign uh, 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 thereof okay so now it's simply we need to find this side here we are gonna come here and say okay therefore applying the cosine rule r 
squared sr is equal to so while you are looking for this one this is the unknown therefore you are going to say this one and this one squared so the unknown will be the one that is on the outside is going to be q r squared plus q s squared minus just going to q s cos uh, angle q which is the one that is given to us so now we're gonna come here and substitute uh qr it's r so therefore it's going to be r squared plus qs is going to be 9r all in the squared minus 2 9 uh, r rather let me substitute the right things on the right area so that you guys can easily follow r here qr is r therefore qs is 9r uh, is equals to cos 2x there you go so now we're just left with a metro of simplifying let's not forget that rs here is squared so we are still going to take the square root so what are we going to have you are going to have r squared plus uh, therefore oh sorry guys here is not nine it's three rather what am i saying it's three here okay now it becomes nine r squared after squaring it minus uh, is going to be 18 18 uh, no it's not going to be 18 number i just changed qs is three here not nine okay apologies for that guys please can you see that how easy it is to make mistakes so please guys mistakes like this ones they are better when you make them when you practice not when you are in the exam so it's better for us we are making this mistake here before the exam so that you don't have to say make the same mistake thereof so that's why you are watching this video please watch this video until the end to see how we are gonna make mistakes correct those mistakes and get the right answers thereof this would really assist you to get that distinction all right so so 2 times uh, 3 is going to be 6 therefore r uh, times uh, r is going to be r squared therefore we're going to be left with cos 2x there's nothing we can do there right so now with that we can add these two together is going to give us 10 r squared minus 6 r squared cos 2x therefore we need to take the square root of everything here rs take the square root of that is what is written there therefore when you remove the square root is going to be it's going to be when you remove this the r there from the square root you're going to be left with r you're going to have a uh, 10 minus 6 cos 2x all right now let's move on to 7.4 7.4 says if r is equal to 10 meters and x is equal to 56 calculated i r s all right so we are gonna come here 7.4 it means therefore if r is equals to 10 excuse me is equals to 10 therefore x is equal to 56 therefore the only thing we need to do is just to substitute this here into our equation let's say for an example guys you didn't manage to get this part right when you're calculating so therefore you don't have to worry about that you can still get 7.4 correct i have seen a lot of learners just leaving this question and say ah no i can't i didn't manage to prove what is rs therefore i'm not even gonna do anything on this question you could just come here and just do 7.4 only and just scoop that two three four marks that could really really mean a lot when it comes to moving from 75 to 78 or moving from 77 to 80 percent so it really means a lot so you can just come here and say okay what do you have here we have got uh, 10 minus 6 cos 2x so if we substitute this r is equal to 10 square root of we put it here 10 minus 6 cos 2 
times uh, 56 close bracket therefore rs should be equals to if you were to put this into our calculator we would therefore i am finding that uh, it is um, approximately 34.996 and then uh, it is in meters right so therefore if you were to run this off you would therefore run it off to 35 meters okay and that's how you would deal with a question like this one i am gustin mapala please make sure that you subscribe to this channel as we will continue to give you more questions and more examples when it comes to past papers from grade 10 up until grade 12 for now let's move on to question 8 from november 2022 to november 2020 i will see you on that upload